Hi, I'm Colin, I'm from Precision Optics Eyewear, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how your glasses are made after you've had your sight test. So, you've got your prescription, you pick the frames you like the look of as well, and also you discuss what lenses you want. I'm gonna show you how the whole lot's done from start to finish. Okay, so, you've had your sight test done, you've got your prescription, and you've got the frame that you picked as well. Now, the amount of time it's gonna take for that to be made is gonna be dependent upon your prescription and the lenses that you've ordered as well. Your lenses are gonna be one of two types. You're either going to be a stock lens or they're going to be a surface lens. Now, a stock lens is a lens which is pre-made and there's thousands and thousands of different prescription combinations available, all in different types of lens material and different lens treatments too. Now, they're really quick to get in and to use because they're pre-made and they're there readily available. Whereas a surface lens is more custom made specific to your measurements, your frame and your prescription. Now, a surface lens is going to take a bit longer could be anywhere between three to four days for some places, some other places maybe a week to two weeks. But a surface lens is gonna be something like a bifocal, a very focal, a really high prescription, or maybe even a specialist frame. So once your lenses have come in from the supplier, we checked everything over and we're happy, your glasses come to this section here, which is the first part of the process. Now this machine is called a tracer and a blocker, and it does two important jobs. The first thing it's gonna do, is gonna scan and trace the inside shape of your glasses. This is gonna tell us the important shapes and sizes of what we've got to cut the lenses to. The next part is the blocking process where we stick a very special pad to the front of the lens. Now, it doesn't just get stuck anywhere on the lens, it's stuck in a very specific place, all in the accordance to your prescription, your frame measurements, and your facial measurements too. Once the pad is on the lens, it's then ready for the next part, which is the cutting process. Okay, so now our lens is ready to be cut, and this is the next part of the process. Now we use this machine here, which is called an edging machine or a glazing machine to cut the lens down. We put this lens in looking like this and it will use a series of tools and gadgets inside to cut the lens down to exactly the right shape and size that we need. When we take the lens out, that lens is then ready to be assembled into the frame. Okay, so now we've got a frame and we've got two lenses that are perfectly cut to fit the frame. The next part is to fit the lenses and we do this by heating the frame up a little bit to make the frame softer to make the lenses easier to fit in. Not all plastic frames or not all materials will require heat to do this and if you have a metal frame we basically use a traditional small bladed screwdriver to undo the screws, fit the lenses in and do the screws back up. When we do the screws back up I normally apply a very small amount of thread lock which normally stops the screws from rattling loose or coming undone by accident. But now the final point of the whole process and this area here is the quality control area. Now what we're doing here is we're making sure the prescription is exactly accurate to what the optician has found in the sight test and making sure all the measurements and everything else is accurate to what you ordered at the time which you're picking your glasses and your lenses. We use this machine here to check the power of the lenses and this is called a facimeter or a lens meter. So there we go, you've come behind the scenes and you've seen how your glasses are normally made when you order them from the opticians. Now, if you found this video useful or handy, let me know please by giving it a thumbs up and even popping something down below in the comments. Now don't forget, if you subscribe to the channel, you'll be next to know when I make my next video all about eyewear, frames and lenses and bringing you behind the scenes so you can stay up to date with what I'm doing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.